All right, so moral of the story. Um, I'm always working on my truck when it is dark outside. Um, that's just how the that's just how the dice always play out. Um, is what it is. I got this little uh, shop light from Royal King that I always use. Um, if you have a Royal King close by, it's a really killer. Um, I just plug it in on an extension cord and lay it wherever I need to work at. Um, where I can, you know, chain it up. You know, it's got these loops on the back. Um, I've tied it up with mechanics wire under the hood before. Super duper bright. Uh, so definitely, definitely recommend these if you find yourself working on your truck at, at night a lot. Um, so, so, let's take a look at this metal pedal. Real quick, we'll take a look at it. Then we'll try and rip the old one out, compare them side by side, put the new metal one in, be good to go. So this is our actual mounting bracket. Um, this right here is what has broken on my factory one. This is obviously metal. The factory one is plastic right here. These little tabs broke off, which lets the master cylinder just slide in and out. So put this in hopefully never have to have any troubles whatsoever uh, it's got this bolt it's you know really easy to take the pedal in and out if you ever need to grease it um, and plus you can install it without the pedal being attached to this bracket which also makes it very very easy and as for the pedal itself, um, you know, it's got the slim metal design not as big and bulky because you know it's metal so it's a lot stronger than the plastic um, you got your bushing, bushings in there. Uh, there's your your uh, push rod for your master cylinder goes, and it's got the return spring um, that will hook up right there, uh, so your pedal doesn't get stuck to the floor for whatever reason. Uh, which will also make it a uh, a breeze during bleeding because the factory one, the way it's designed. It will get stuck to the floor um, when you're trying to do the bleeding process and you gotta pull it up, you know, manually. Nobody wants to screw with that, um, regardless. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start ripping out this factory plastic junk. Get started on putting this new metal one in. Um, so let me, uh, let me get all my stuff gathered up. And uh, I'll just throw you guys some clips of uh, what size bolts or what, um, which ones you got to take out. And the easiest way that I find to do this, I will let you know, plastic ones can be quite a pain to remove. Um, I might end up cutting mine since it's honestly not any good anyways. Uh, if I can finagle it out in one piece, I will. I uh, just know that it is very difficult because I have tried before and failed. So I'm going to gather up everything, uh, get all the sizes, get all my, my tools I need, and we'll be back. All right, so um, there's actually only three bolts that are going to be holding your pedal in. Uh, three 15 millimeter bolts, two in the right side, and one straight up underneath the dash. Um, so first thing I did was I disconnected my, uh, my push rod from the master cylinder to the pedal. Um, there is this, uh, bushing that goes on there. And as you can see, it's got these little tabs. Uh, so what you're going to do is you reach up underneath the dash. You're going to fill these, squeeze them down, pull straight out. Um, you know, uh, it might take a little bit of, like I said, a little bit of finagling, um, but you can get it just squeeze these, pull the pedal up, push it in, and just get it popped out. Once you do, um, go underneath the hood, turn it, uh, which way is it, clockwise, yeah, rotate it, rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise, one or the other, um, pretty sure clockwise, clockwise, pull it out, make sure you're not bending your line or anything, just pull it straight out to get the whole thing, the whole push rod pulled out of the firewall, and just set it up out of the way, um, what you do, there are your two side bolts, right there and right there and then uh, I would recommend getting those two out once you get those two out push your pedal down 
and look straight up. Oh, that's a little dark. Let's see if I can get the light on this top bolt for you. There's your top bolt right up there. And uh, just using a 3 8 ratchet with a uh, 6 inch extension on it. Uh, so pop those three bolts out. Once you get those three bolts out, uh, then it becomes time to start the finagling process of trying to get this big thing out from under this tight dash. I did remove the cover off this fuse box here. Uh, it's only held on with one plastic nut that will screw onto the stud right here. Just unscrew it, pop this cover off. Um, the more room, the merrier. We might, I might end up having to actually pop these tabs loose to get it out. Um, as you can see, that's a pretty big assembly uh, to try and work out of here. Um, if I do end up having to take that out, I will be sure to uh, to include that for you guys. Uh, so I'm gonna pop those three bolts out and then we'll start trying to wiggle it out from under the dash. Ta-da! Got her out. Um, what I ended up doing, took that pry bar there um, and that bottom bolt hole, I just got it on there, pushed a little bit, uh, collapsed the pedal down, push it, uh, pry up on this. Once you get it coming out, just keep inching it up in there more and more. And then finally, uh, once it gets popped out a little bit, pull your handle or pull your pedal back up to the extended position like this. Uh, and then pretty much uh, just kind of pull on it down at kind of a little bit of an angle to the side. I ended up moving this fuse block here. Um, pull at it a little bit of a side angle. Um, just kind of, you know, get a little rough with it. Um, make sure that you don't rip any wires out. Um, you know, so make sure they're up out of the way. All that good stuff. Um, and there you go. As you can see, about how much room we're working with. Um, not a whole lot, considering you know how big that plastic gunk is. But um, there's plenty of room here. It looks like it's gonna be no problem. Set that bracket up in there um, with our new metal pedal. Uh, get it bolted in. Get our master cylinder put in. Uh, looks like everything is going to be a breeze. Uh, real quick, we will uh, we'll go ahead and uh, say we do a little side-by-side -side comparison of, of what our metal pedal and our plastic pedal look like. All right, as far as your mounting brackets, let's see what we got. All right, in the same orientation, this is the size image you're looking at. With that versus that, um, where this is plastic, plastic is obviously not as strong. It's a lot bulkier, um, cruddier, you know, big, big hunk of plastic, you know, to try and work around, fit in and out of there. It's not ideal. Um, there's your side views. Pretty similar there. Um, mainly it's just a little slimmer places like this. Because it doesn't need quite as much bracing. But you know it's a much stronger, much stronger uh, assembly than what you're what you're originally working with. As far as our actual pedal, uh, let me push this out of here. Let's see what you're looking at. Um, again, pretty much the same shape. You know, just a lot slimmer, a lot slimmer profile. Um, you know, a lot smaller, you're gonna have some more space. Cause again, it's made out of metal. Doesn't need to be as big, um, but it's, you know, gonna be a lot stronger, a lot more durable. Gonna be able to grease this. A lot of these ZF6 guys know, um, there's a lot of them with the infamous pedal squeak. Um, every time you push the clutch in, it just squeak, squeak, squeak. Um, not a very good fix for it. Got this metal pedal. Uh, when we put it in, we'll put some grease in this. Uh, throw a little grease in there for our uh, bushing for the push rod and we should have quiet smooth push operation as you can see that's just busted all to pieces we won't have that problem anymore um, we'll be able to push the clutch in with confidence every time uh, without worrying about a failure from this factory plastic design that is known to go bad uh, so we're going to jump straight into um, we're going to chuck this over there out of the way and we're gonna go straight
straight into it. Um, let me go ahead and pull this bolt out. So, um, I'm not sure if I can do this one handed. I can probably get you guys a rough idea though. Um, so, as you can see, um, yeah, I'm probably definitely not going to do this one handed. Um, but you can pretty much get the point, you know. It's going to be a lot easier in your other one. Just finagle it up in there, uh, get it up in there, and you should be good to go. I'm pretty sure I can get the bolt in afterwards. Um, I will let you guys know after I get this mounted up, uh, mocked up. I'll try and uh, see what kind of room I got to access the bolt. If I don't have room, uh, we'll pull it back out, put the pedal on, put the bolt through, and then we will install it uh, with the pedal assembled. You cannot, at least I cannot, uh, get the pedal in once I get this in by itself. I can, but I cannot get the spring in um, due to the way that uh, the spring kind of goes in. It's a little very tight fit on both the ends. There's not enough room under the dash. So I pulled it out. Um, we're gonna put it all in in one assembly. Um, so I'm gonna, I got some fastener lubricant. Um, that should be plenty good to, to put on the bolt to help keep this nice and lubed up. And put a little bit in there where the, uh, the push rod's going to ride. So I'm going to lube this bolt up, get it put in there, get it tightened down, get the whole assembly put in, get the bolts in, and then we just got to uh, put our master cylinder in, um, clip our push rod in, and uh, yeah, we'll be good to go. So I'm going to gonna get this in the dash. Once I do, uh, we'll come back, put the master cylinder in, show you how to make sure that you got the push rod clipped into the uh the holder on the on the pedal the correct way so it's not going to come out and then we should be ready to rock and roll mm. all right so the pedal is in and bolted up um and you can see that's what it looks like is your two side bolts and your top bolt is There's your top bolt spring. So that right there is your cup that your uh, master cylinder is going to ride in. So what we're gonna do is not zoom the camera in all the way. This is our bushing. We're gonna set that there for the time being over here under the hood okay so as you can see um, these notches here they're gonna go in there line up with those and then turn uh, this might be kind of difficult for me to do with my hand but Watch out for all your wiring. And like I said, I'm gonna slide this in there. Oh, wait, mother. Can't quite remember. Might have to put the phone down to line these up um but you get the point we're gonna line that up twist it i'm gonna have to turn down and do it um yeah you should be able to figure it out all right we got the master cylinder mounted push rod coming through as you can see um so that's gonna go in that hole right there so what we're gonna do is uh i'm gonna set the phone down because once i put some some uh lubricant on this i don't want to set it down pick up any dirt right now it is clean 
Um, so pretty much, I'll uh, show you the process. Um, set the phone down. We're going to dab a little bit inside of here. Pop this onto the end of the push rod. And then uh, we'll take, dab a little bit, uh, rub some up inside the, um, the little bucket where it sits. And we'll show it popping in. Um, so let me see if I can somehow set up a... Let you chill right there for just a moment. Um, and this is actually ARP uh, assembly lubricant, but um, it is good enough, then it will serve the same purpose uh, that it is perfectly, perfectly fine to use. Perfectly fine to use. Um, just get some globs down inside of here. All right, as you can see, um, just kind of buttered that all up in there. Of course, I got it all over myself. Um, typical. So what we're going to do is come up and under here. Try and wipe some off so I don't get it all over the camera. should hear it click on there. There it went. There's the click on there. Um, next what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna take and put a little bit up inside here. Um, you know, that way the bushing doesn't get all worn out um, due to me pushing the clutch in all the time, so we got us a big old dab right here. I'm gonna try and get up under here without getting on everything else. And just reach up in there. Just water it around. And then maybe put a little bit right there. And it can it can smear itself the rest of the way. Put our lid back on. Now what I have noticed so far, this pedal, um, it doesn't have any adjustment. Your factory one doesn't either. Um, this one does appear that it is going to sit a little bit higher once we get everything seated though. All right, um, I got cut off there. I'm not entirely sure what happened. Um, as I was saying, once we get this popped in, it does appear this pedal is going to sit a little bit higher. Um, it doesn't particularly bother me, um, but I'm sure there are some people who will be irritated by that. So what I'm going to do, I'll pull this back, push this up in there, and then we're just going to shove the clutch in, and it should seat itself. Um, let me see if I can, if I can show that for you guys. Set the camera up here. Pull this out. Pop that up in there. Now, I'm just going to push this forward. It should pop itself in. Um, it's not all the way in. Um, the correct way to do this. sure what the correct way is because my truck is on a hill so if I push the clutch in myself it is going to roll so let me uh, get on here we're gonna hit the brake so the truck doesn't roll we're just gonna slowly push this in and unless we should hear it click into place there it went I don't know if you guys heard that should be good to go um, as you can see it does sit just a hair higher um, that is due to the spring that pulls it back um, as you see 
if you push it down a little bit, it does go uh, even with your brake pedal if you let off of it. Um, it is it is about an inch higher, uh, maybe two. Just push it in a little bit, and it is level. Um, like I said, this does not bother me at all. Some of you guys, it may bother you. Um, in the case that it does bother you, I'm sure there's something you could do so the pedal has like a stop. Um, so it doesn't go any farther. This is much more rigid than the factory plastic mount. Uh, whenever you would push the clutch in, it would bow out from the plastic flex. And the pedal feels much better. Uh, honestly, the pedal feels much easier to push in. Um, this, if I had to guess, um, I'm not sure if the uh, if the ratio of the swing is any different, um, but some of that could be from where the metal is so much more stronger. It's keeping the the master cylinder in a firm firm grip, and when you push the clutch in, originally it was wanting to push the push the master cylinder out, um, and it was hurting the angle that it was pushing in. Uh, it seems to be much smoother uh, clutch feel now. Uh, so the only thing we got left is set this box that I happen to get lubricant all over. We're going to set this back up in these tabs where it goes, put the cover back on it, um, shut the hood, and uh, we should be good to go. Hopefully uh, have a trouble-free clutch pedal now. And um, time will tell. I will put the link in the description of uh, where you can get these pedals. Uh, I'm not affiliated with them in any way, um, but they do seem to be the go-to for for all these body style trucks with the ZF6 uh, to get rid of your troublesome factory clutch pedal that's plastic. Um, everybody uses them. Uh, I'm not sure the guy's name that makes them. If you hop on any ZF6 group, uh, it would not be very hard to find. Everybody's always talking about um, how good these pedals are and that how they are a must have. Uh, time will tell. Um, just from the install alone, I can almost uh, I can almost guarantee that it's definitely going to be a major upgrade over what I was using. Um, the website uh, is KB Diesel Performance. I believe the guy's name is Ethan or Evan that builds these. Um, Quality looks pretty good. Install was pretty straightforward. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to finish this up. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. Or if, uh, if there's anything else you'd like to see in the future or you think that I should uh, look into, just feel free to let me know. Here